Salman Bhatt. Already fresh from 100, so he'd like to carry on from where he left in Jamshedpur. Still to fire in the one-day series. And there he goes. Off the mark with the boundary. It's 10 for no loss. That's a good shot. Very good shot. The short, wide, asking to be hit. You still have to put it away. Previous over without success. Oh, he goes for this one. That is a monster blow. That's a freebie for you. Only fractionally short. A six and a boundary. He could set this uh, stadium ablaze if he's there for 15 overs. Edge then between first and second slip. <laughs> Nera is not happy. Pakistan will take that. 26 for no loss. It's up and it goes. One bounce over the rope. That's in the air. Just out of the reach of the fielder. In fact, it's gone for six. Can you believe it? First impression was it was a miss hit. Afridi is looking at the bottom of his bat. It may have hit the bottom of the bat, but it's cleared the... There's no second slip, and that'll find the boundary. It's been a little unlucky, Nera. But in the Sehwag on the offside. That's a lovely shot. Gets into great position to hit it in front of square. And the 50 comes up for Pakistan in quick time. 50 for no loss. That ball also swung and pretty ordinary effort in the field. I think it's Ashish Nera who's let his bowler down. There was this edge from Afidi, the ball flew in his direction. Shot and put away. You just cannot afford to bowl that length to him, he can murder you. It's a dream. Oh, that's a great shot. Stand and deliver. What a shot to finish the over. 86 for one. Again, good timing. Did only a single. In fact, good stop there by Balaji. The ball was uh, running. He plays this shot well. Once again, so risky. Get a boundary for it. And the 100 comes up. There's Ganguly chasing. I think this is a very smart move from Saurav Ganguly. He knows that Abdul Razak is not very special against spin bowling. As long as Pakistan do not lose a wicket at this stage, they'll be pretty happy with this because no pressure has been exerted by India. That's the point I'm making, Rami, is you've got a pitch here that is clearly... Going to look for two. Good return. This could be close. And maybe he's run out there. Murli Karthik is the fielder from the deep with an excellent return. Wasn't the perfect throw on top of the base but very close to the stumps and uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni may have done the job. It's Abdul Razak who is not as quick between the wickets as Shweb Malik. Very good throw from uh, the deep. And I think he's made it. I think he's just made it. 
very difficult really to judge from this angle. Dhoni who collected the throw on the bounce. He broke the stumps but I think he's in. In the air, just out of reach of Ashish Nehra. Zahir Khan would have felt maybe another fielder would have had a chance but I think uh, it wasn't really going in. Just chipped in the air, just clearing it on. Two runs comfortably taken. Malik's a dangerous player as well. Now that's adding insult to injury. Catch put down, next ball goes to the boundary. Slow ball. And it's put that away. There it is, 50 for Shoaib Malik. Second consecutive 50 for Shoaib Malik in this competition. Bob Woolmer is pretty pleased. Great shot. That shit before. Right down the leg side and just thumped on its head by Inzamam. There's a little bit of turn that's gone away again. Fine. Third man. That'll run away for four. But at least something's happening. A little bit of turn from round the wicket for Murli Karthik. The more orthodox plan of trying to get your batsman's wicket. Plays that fine, as was expected. And will come back for the second. He plays this shot well, Yunus Khan. He wants one and he's got to have to hurry. That's a direct hit. And I think they've got the man. That is another splendid Ashish Nehra throw. It's going to be tight. Body language suggests that the Indians feel that they have their man. We'll wait and see. The expression suggests that he's a goner. It's Ashish Nehra. Who's hit the bullseye and he's clearly shot. Shot by a good yard or so. Another run out. And India not panicking under pressure. It is Pakistan who are wilting under pressure. He's what? He's played it fine. That'll run away for four. A welcome boundary for Pakistan. Also brings up the 300. 301 for seven. Three runs to get. Inzabam has gone for it. And he comes back for the second. The scores are tied. Inzabam not out 56. He's in strike. Last ball. And it's through. Inzabam has done it. That is a splendid effort by Inzabam ul Haq in Pakistan. For the first time in their cricketing history they have achieved a target of over 300 runs to win a one-day international this is smashing stuff from Inzamam al -Haq. he did not lose his cool his stature his temperament and when it came to hitting that ball in the gap he was up for it it was a team effort right from the first batsman till the last one everyone tried to contribute great contributions from the top and middle order and in the end it was this man in Zamam al -Haq. 60 from 59 balls played well with the uh, with the frontline batsmen played brilliantly with the tail enders and in the end a deserved victory for Pakistan. Well, that's the bowling card for you. Seven bowlers employed, 10 for Zahir Khan, 10 for Karthik. Those are the two who finished their quota, nine for Nera and two wickets for Karthik, one for Zahir, one for Balaji, one for Tendulkar. Tendulkar bowled the last over, almost did the star turn there, but not quite. Pakistan winning this match. At the last ball, they were tied till the last ball. And that's the mini card for the match, the match summary. India winning toss, an important toss.
Overs reduced to 48, scoring 315 with a magnificent 123 by Tendulkar, 47 by Dhoni. Three wickets for Malik, though a little expensive. Pakistan in reply, always an uphill.